I have been warned for Ted play some blitz. So there we go. Fifteen seventy five is white a black. See if I was white he'd go he'd play the Budapest. So I'll do French, you can see four as usual. Sticking to some openings now, or King's Indian attack. Um do his new system, which I lost to up at board yesterday, but oh we have to wait for him to commit the um thing, bishop to G two. Um I'll play it anyway. Except he stopped me playing e5, which isn't too great, so I've already messed this up. Oh, nice e6. Yes, he still let me play it. It's e5. Just now to King's Indian system, which um, I got off Brandon Clark, aka BC Morglin. So it's like an e4 e5 opening with white committed to a finish yet, which isn't too great, to be honest. Now you play. Oh, whoops, not on this line. Play a5. Oh, I meant to play a5, not a6. Mouse slip. <coughs> Finally, just get a bit of queenside expansion going. Took the bishop away a7 if necessary. Then play maybe bishop b7, pile up an e4. Right, get away from any discoveries, put the queen on a good square. And then maybe h6, knight h7, and f5 will be a good plan. And then f4 if he lets me. Try and bust it open. Um. I'll put this one B7. I don't think the pin does much. You can just maybe play H3, G4, which it wants to do. It wants to do anyway. Right, it's pinned me. I can play H6, and if Bishop H4, then I can probably get away with G5, winning the piece. So it'll, it'll probably go back to E3, maybe to challenge my own bishop. Always tuck, giving up the bishop pair. I'll take it with Queen, of course. Ah, but now he's got a grip on D5 and also F5, so I can kill two birds with one stone with this move. Covering d5 and f5, but it does allow rook, his rook to come to the seventh. But maybe I can just protect the c pawn and then kick it away. Except now I've lost the pawn. Not good. Unless I I play queen g6, but it takes with the f knight, which defends his e pawn and attacks my queen again. So this isn't looking too great. I'll put the queen there. Now he's going to make pawn drops and I'm practically lost. Not good. Uh, nice friend knight d7 as well, so I'll stop that. Try and hang on. Not the best start to the, today, so some blitz today. Mm, oh, he's tuck. Guess there's probably some weakness of f7, or maybe he just wants to swap the looks off. Nope, f7 is very weak. If f6 and it weakens one more light squares. Let's play it anyway. This the kicks his knight away. God. This is awful. At least he can't come in g6 right away, but a positional plan for him now might be. Ooh, where did that come from? Knight takes h6. And then, ooh, I have to take it. Now it's threading knight takes a6 and knight takes f6 with two pieces on f6. This looks dead. Not good. I can't even play. I can't play knight jakes but kings on that square. Oh, I'll play rook f8. But that allows rook d1 and also still play knight takes x6 check. I'll probably see I'm not getting mated. Queen h5 next. To king g7. I'll play king g7. So if knight f5, I just take it. I'm also on his queen. If you, okay, you also can't take that with pawn, I stay with queen. And now. Can I sack back with bishop takes f2 to get everything off? Bishop takes pawn, queen takes. Mm, but I'll be down with pawn and get him. He's trying to hang on to this extra piece. And he hasn't actually got anything other than the queen in the attack at the moment. Unless he starts throwing pawns at me. Can I get my pieces back in time? Must have down at clock as well. If I have a bishop c80, I haven't got a check. So I'll do that. Force his queen back. And then maybe bring mine in by e6 to g4. In fact, he has to stay on the f file otherwise. I'll um, take an f2 with checks. So he has to go f4. Right. Uh, 
right. Now what? Need to speed up a bit. I bring the queen into the game. Maybe bishop back to b7, put pressure on e4. Winning trump cards. Maybe queen g4 next. Try and get the queens off. Could be a bit of a scalp here. Although I was getting crushed and he sacked on soundless. So I'm a bit lucky, but still. Although then again, he has got three pawns for peace. So maybe end games are quite bad actually. Maybe I should keep the queens on. Ooh, not f5. In fact, yeah, my kings are exposed. I'll try and get the queens off. Ooh, we've got c7. We're checking he didn't see it. I was lucky. I'm massively down at the time though again. I've been playing very slow today. However, I, I, I might have the initiative now with these two raking bishops. He might have to be careful not to lose. I, he might, he might be care, have to be careful not to blunder his king. Coming to c4, force his king back. Um, b4, try and rip some lines open. If rook, if, if he moves his rook to d1 to challenge my gold bishop f2, winning an exchange. Thanks a lot. I, miss, I can't believe you missed that simple tactic. And now I'm winning. As long as I control these pawns, it's an easy win. And he's resigned. <sighs> that was a nice little win in the end. Um, just go for it. So I tried this new system. But I, I should have gone a5 instead of a6. So like, I'm actually meant to go a5, but I put the pawn a6 by mistake. And I soon get the worst position. Getting positionally crushed. In fact, he's blunder there. I'm lost here. Then he tries to be too clever. Um, he could have just moved his knight back to um, e3, hit him a bishop. And he's better. Pawn up. But now I can just defend this quite easily. And I slow take control. And in fact, I'm the one who gets the rage and attack in the end. And then he blunders there, he blunders the exchange, and I'm just a rock up and I'm going to win his pawns. So he resigns. So that was quite a good game in the end, and um, hope you enjoyed it, and please leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much.